Good morning, everybody, and Happy New Year. Happy 2022. Uh, hope you are all doing well today. Uh, hope you all had a good, safe, healthy New Year. And uh, we are going to do a little bit of a mail call today. i um, going to show you some uh, kits that we've added to the stash and maybe ask for a little help with one of these kits that I, that I received and uh, go from there. So this is how we're going to start off our new year. So first of all, I want to do a, a uh, shout out, the mail call shout out to uh, Mighty JJK Models, John, uh, over at uh, Mighty JJK. He sent me his uh, shop card that I got in the mail just a few days ago. Uh, very much appreciate the shop card, appreciate the kind words uh, on the back. And uh, if you are not subscribed to this gentleman, please go over and check out his channel. Uh, he does excellent work, and uh, you won't be sorry uh, that you subscribe to his channel. So, John, thank you very much for the shop card. Very much appreciate it, my friend. Okay, well, we got, we've gotten a couple of new three new kits. Well, they're not really new. They're actually old kits, uh, but they're new to me. And so uh, this first one that I got, uh, this is uh, another one of the Pyro Vintage Brass cars. And this is the 1915 Ford Pie Wagon. And this is the kit that I'm going to just throw this out there and ask if anybody can help. Um, this may be a long shot, but I thought I'd throw it out there. When I ordered this kit, uh, I did not notice in the listing that it came with everything except the brass parts. There is not a there's not a brass parts tree in this kit, and that was my fault. I didn't read the listing. Uh, the uh, the seller was very honest about it, but I just didn't read the listing. So, uh, what I'm asking is if there's anybody out there who has this kit that you are not using or that you would like to get rid of, or you'd like to get rid of just the brass parts, you're not going to build it, uh, I would be very, very appreciative if you know I could buy it from you or trade uh, trades a kit for it, um, even if it's to trade a whole kit for just the brass parts, uh, I would be willing to do that because I would really like to, to have uh, the complete kit to build and I really don't, you know, necessarily want to go on eBay and try to find another one uh, that, uh, and pay full price for it. Um, just to get the brass parts. So if you've got this kit, let me know. Get in touch with me. My email is in the description down below. Uh, and so I very much appreciate that. So that's that one. Okay. The next kit that I got is yet another one of the Pyro Vintage Brass Car Kits. This is the 1914 Mercer Raceabout. And this kit is actually complete. The seller took a lot of uh, pains to make sure that this kit arrived safely. And so there it is. Uh, when I build this kit later, we'll kind of go through it and I'll show you the parts. But uh, it is complete. And so I was very glad to, very glad to get that. I would eventually like to collect all of the kits in this, uh, in this series. There's another series, it's the Pyro tabletop kits, and they're not quite as detailed as these, but uh, I do like the vintage brass series. So, um, so there's another one to add to the stash. And then the next kit I actually got from the same seller. I got them, uh, got them together. Uh, this is the Airfix uh, Albatross DB 1917. 172nd, and they, as you can see, this one is, is still sealed. Um, so, um, I've been looking to add some more planes to my uh, my stash, and so 
I picked this one up. I really like the albatross. So um, there's that one. Well, that's it as far as kits that I've added. This next this next ad is not so much a ad to the stash as a kind of a reference. Um, I just ran happened to run across this the other day, and it's a book. Um, being from Texas, as you can imagine, I'm a big ZZ Top fan, and uh, ran across this this book. It's the Billy F. Gibbons Rock and uh, Billy F. Gibbons Rock and Roll Gearhead book. Um, and the reason I bought this book is because it has a whole section. I'll see if I can find it. I'm not sure. Should have had it marked. But uh, somewhere it's got a section on his his guitars, as you can see. But uh, it also has a uh, has a whole section on his cars. And he has a, quite a collection of cars. Uh, you can see there he has a 325i custom BMW. Um, there's an Impala, uh, and there are you know uh, just it's of course it's got the 33 Ford. Um, the the one that we're most familiar with from the uh, Eliminator uh, album, um, but uh, I thought this was just a really cool reference book to have. Um, you know, I kind of like to do some builds of some of his cars, and so I picked this book up because it's got some it's got some good reference material in it, some good good pictures. It gives some close ups. You can see uh, here it's got a, a good close-up of the it's got a good close-up of the uh, the engine in the eliminator and uh, it's just a, like I said it's a very cool a very cool book so uh, yeah sorry guys I'm having camera problems here or phone problems I guess I should say but anyway that's the uh, that's the last thing that we added to the stash was the uh, was this book. Anyway, uh, hope you all again have had a great new year, and uh, hope there are good things to come for for you in this new year. Uh, and so we are going to close this thing out for now, and uh, we will see you on the next update. You all take care. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on the. On the flip side, bye.